Hello, grade 3 students. This is Ms. Nama. Today, our new lesson is about subject-verb agreement. Let's learn more about grammar. A verb that tells about an action that is happening now is in the present tense. You add as to the verb when the subject is singular. You do not add as to the verb if the subject is in plural. Example, Rick, the librarian, reads old novels. So Rick, as you can see, is one person in singular form. There's only one Rick. So reads in the present tense takes S. Another example, they need more money for charity. Need, the present tense verb, doesn't require any S because they is a subject in plural. Let's check out this new rule. Some verbs end with ES instead of S. You add ES to verbs that end with S, SH, CH, or X when the subject is in singular form. You do not add ES when the subject is plural. Example, he searches for his paper. He is a singular subject. So, the present tense verb search takes ES because the subject is in singular form. The man reaches the mountain peak. As you can see in this picture, there is only one man. So, the man is a subject in singular form. So, the verb reaches in present tense takes ES because it ends with CH. Let's see further examples. Sam fixes the lamps. Sam is a singular subject. There's only one Sam. He's a boy. So, fixes takes ES in the present tense because it ends with X. She tosses the ball to her friend. Tosses takes ES because the subject in this sentence is singular. She. She's one person. Tosses ends with S, so in the present tense, it takes ES. Mike rushes home from school. As you can see, Mike, he's one person, so the subject here is singular. Rushes ends with CSH, so it takes ES. Let's check out this new rule as well. Some verbs end with a consonant and Y. You change the Y to I and add ES. He tries to stay quiet. The verb here tries, it was initially try, T-R-Y. Because in the present tense, the verb try becomes tries. We removed the Y, we added I-E-S because the subject here is singular, he. The eagle flies high in the sky. The verb fly here ended with L, which is a consonant, and Y. In the present tense, the verb fly takes I-E-S because the subject here is singular, the eagle. There's only one eagle, as you can see. The last example, Brad studies for the math test. The verb study ends with a consonant D and Y, the vowel Y. So, in the present tense, the Y will be removed and will be replaced by IES because the subject here is Brad. Brad is a singular. There's only one Brad, as you can see in this picture. So, I hope you guys understood this lesson and that everything is clear. I wish you good luck with your homework and see you soon. Bye.